cool thing about Gary, like Gary would see me with those clips with Steven and he'd go, of course, of course you gotta do it. Of course it's you and f***ing Steven. It has to be because, and he would be proud of it because I'm his f***ing Joe Perry. So of course it has to be with you. Just the same way that when he f***ing did any of like, of course, of course. <laughs> it was never like, f*** you, how could you? How could you f*** that other f***ing girl right in front of me, right in front of me? <laughs> it was always like, it was two kids going, we're f***ing living the dream, bro. We're f***ing doing, we both loved Aerosmith. We f***ing loved Van Halen. It was like, it was, it was never an ugliness. It was never like, f*** you and f*** you back. It was like, how was it, man? How was it, f***ing, f***ing Steven Tyler? Like, how was it? Was it great? <laughs> you know, like, I'm like, yeah. Swallowed all of it. It was amazing. <laughs> it was well, you know, the funny, the funny thing is with Gary is I told him that my first Van Halen show ever was, was with, with him because I'm You know what? You're lucky. You know why? Because one of the fucking things that Gary did that he probably never got enough credit for that fucking Sammy didn't do and I told Sammy in this fucking room was like, he brought back the Dave shit and he got the fans back to the Dave shit. You know, where they were like, thank you. Fucking thank you. You know what I mean? And Gary fucking the fans owe him for that. If if they owe him for anything, it was like he fucking up this shit. And he did all of it. He brought back the early shit. He brought back the cool shit. Yeah, fuck, hell yeah, dude. Oh, well. First off, I agree because if you put together like the Dream Van Halen set list, it starts off with Unchained, and then the first song I hear is with the Van Halen thing and it burn it. Come on, you all want that? We all want the and then Gary's back there going, ha, 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 I could do whatever. And he rocked it. And I know he was set up for failure because that was my first experience of Van Halen was with Gary. But he just basically said to me, but you know, that was Nuno's guy. I was just moonlighting yeah. in, in Nuno's guy's band. That's the thing about Gary. Like, you know, I f left the band. I quit. I left. I left Gary. I left him in the f dust. Seriously. A lot of people, because he did Van Halen, thought it was reverse. Thought it was the other way around. Like, oh, f Gary's an asshole because he left extreme for Van Halen. No. Gary, I went up to 5150 while they were recording the fucking album. And I remember going up there and fucking Eddie being there with Eddie and Gary and then hanging out at the guest house with Gary afterwards. And then, hey, you want to grab a bite? And then Gary going down. Gary's about to release an album. He's halfway, more than halfway through the album. And he still looks at me across, looks me in the whites of my eyes. And after we eat, and he goes, and he looked at me and he said, Nuno, you f say the word right now. You f tell me Extreme is on. I don't go back to the fucking studio. Period. He literally said that to me. He said, Extreme is what we are. That's who I am. Even while being doing Van Halen, doing all that stuff, he knew it was a special thing. He knew it. It's not, it's not to say he didn't know what it was, but it, it, you know, the mothership is extreme. Period. It, it is, you know, it'll always be for us. And the fact that he even would say that, like, you know, at that point shows you how much that, how much extreme means oh, to him. I, I love to corner him and ask him Nuno stories because, you know, you don't talk to me as much as Gary does because he's nicer yeah. and, and lets me. Well, trust me, space. tonight, tonight, if I could just fucking well, but, let out. So I asked, I asked <laughs> him the following the question because he's worked with Paul Gilbert. He's worked with Nuno Betancourt. He's worked with Eddie Van Halen. And I said, hey, man, those are like three of my like top two favorite guitar players. Come on, and, you know uh, what the answer is. Tom Brady. Like, yeah, 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 no, Bruce Jenner, okay? Um, but so I was like, dude, who, who is the best? And Because I, I mean, who do you like playing with the most? Tell me, tell me as the plebeian that loves all these guys. And he goes, well, Paul Gilbert will be the first to say that, you know, if you're Nuno or, 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 Nuno, or, or obviously Eddie Van Halen, that... I could sound like them both, but I don't, no one goes, oh, that's Paul Gilbert. So he'll tell you that. And then he said, Eddie was like this ADD, like he'd have this unbelievable genius for like a, a day. And then there was like weeks of craziness and it was like this in savant level shit. But he said, your right hand just it is the most rhythmic thing. It has thing. to be me. It's, only it's you. Me. It's it you. He said, me. it's you. Not because, not because it's me. Because it's extreme. F Gary, the sound of it, Gary was, bef same thing with me. What I was doing with Simple and what Gary was doing with Extreme, it was missing a massive hole of what, it's the f***ing Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, guys. Come on. It's the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. And it okay. doesn't mean that Extreme is a shit. It doesn't mean Extreme did f***ing shit. It, all it means is that 
with me, it comes to me and him. That's what it is. That will always be what it is. That's, I, you know, it, it's funny. You joke about Tom Brady. Tom Brady knows. Tom Brady knows that he can go to Tampa Bay and everybody's like, see, he can do it. Like, no, he can't do it on his own to Tampa Bay. Because he would not be Tom Brady at Tampa Bay if it wasn't for the Pats. It will always be the Pats. It will always be Belichick. <laughs> because he, he, and I'm not even fucking joking. I'm not no, even being I hear a what you're saying. I'm saying you're from saying. Boston. You have to. It's in your DNA. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm equating it to me and everybody else. Meaning, whoever grew you, whoever mentored you, whoever made you what you are, you can. Go, I can join Guns N' Roses tomorrow. And by the way, I was asked at one point. By Axel to my face in a apartment in New York City. I could do that and I could go, but it's always going to be Slash. It's always going to be Guns N' Roses with Slash. No matter how good I do it, how great I do it, how much I nail it, even if I, it's Slash and fucking Axel. End of story. That's how it always has to be. It's Roth and Van Halen. I'll say it to Sammy. It's Roth and Van Halen. And Sammy will be the first to tell you. You cannot be the replacement ever. It's the original cast that did it all.